Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting a cauldron of blood of the Daughters of Cain army. There aren't a lot of vehicles in Age of Sigmar and this one is pretty unique. Especially the avatar of Cain on top looks really cool. Let's begin, shall we? After priming the entire model with Wraithbone, I covered the base because I'm going to use the airbrush for a quick base coating. I spray the cauldron and the avatar with Iron Hands Steel. <coughs> Next, I'm spraying Glyph Charger Grey on both the cauldron and avatar. Again, I used the airbrush for quick base coating. But you can also do this with a brush, of course. I paint all the details I want gold with Skull Crusher Brass. I went over the entire cauldron and avatar, and I just picked certain spots to make it gold. You want to break up the metallic look and make the cauldron look interesting. All the gold gets a shade of Gulliman Flesh. This will make the gold look a lot warmer and contrasts nicely with the blue cold steel of the cauldron. For simplicity's sake, I'm dry brushing Rune Fang steel over the entire model to highlight. I make sure to give the sharp edges of the knives everywhere a extra dry brush. The stairs look a bit boring, so I'm coating them with Berserker Bloodshade to create a spot color. I'm also painting the ponytail of the avatar the same way. This is a good beginning, but it doesn't stand out that much. I shade the stairs again with Kerelberg Crimson to make the purple red pop more. I use Slanish Grey to highlight the stairs and the tail of the avatar. This was the biggest step for the model. Using the airbrush, I really knocked a lot of time off the base coating. Getting into all those difficult nooks and crannies with a brush would have been awful. Let's paint some details next. The statue holding the cauldron is given a coat of ethermatic blue contrast paint. This shows the metallic undercoat, giving a very nice effect. I further shade the statue with Tyrant Blue. I wanted to highlight, but I'm actually happy with this result already. The flames get a base coat of Tesseract Glow. This paint covers really well and it gives a very cool neon quality to the flames. I mix a bit of Dorn Yellow with Tesseract Glow and highlight the flames. I end with dotting the flame with pure Dorn Yellow, making the flames nice and bright. I thought the wheels looked a bit boring. So I painted the rims and most of the underside of the cauldron with Ratlin Grime, making them stand out a little bit more. The cauldron doesn't have that much details to paint, but by choosing some different colors, the model starts to look a lot more interesting. Next, I'll be putting the blood in the Cauldron of Blood. I'm going to try a couple of things here. First, I'm painting parts that I want bright red with pink horror. This covers the metallic paint and gives a good base color for bright blood. The parts I painted pink, I paint with Blood for the Blood God. I apply two or three coats to make it look nice and goopy. Next, I'm painting a lot of parts of the avatar with Blood for the Blood God, straight over the metallics. This will make the blood darker and the metallic shine will still show through. I apply two coats to remove all the streaky paint. With an old brush, I paint Blood for the Blood God over the sharp edges of the weapons. I go in one direction to give the impression the sword was cleaving through a person. I did the same with the sharp edges of the cauldron as well. 
Finally, I tried a fun trick. I loaded up my brush with Blood for the Blood God. Then, with an empty airbrush, I spray air very close to the brush, making the paint splatter on the model. This gives a really cool and natural splatter effect. The base gets a coat of Dark Oath Flesh. I tried the airbrush again here, but I didn't really get the coverage I wanted. So the airbrush is not always the answer. After a couple of coats, I sprayed Targor Raid Shade on the base. I hit the cauldron as well, which gave a very nice and subtle effect at the bottom. I dry brush the base with Zendry Dust. And dry brush again with Screaming Skull. The rim of the base is painted with Corvus Black. And here we have a Cauldron of Blood. Putting this model together after painting was really cool. As you see, it's actually a very big model and a great centerpiece for a Daughters of Cain army. The witches on this model were painted the same way as I did with my other witches. With this video, it concludes my Daughters of Cain army. For now. I might return if I ever get Morathi, because I would love to paint that amazing model. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram, where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.